Cool. Uh, linked. Eleven oh nine. Corporate fight bookings. Uh, there are n fights, and they're labeled from one to n. Uh, we have a list of fight bookings. Uh, the I booking bookings sub high is equal to IJK, meaning we have we booked K seat from fights labeled from I to J inclusive. Uh, we turn in a way answer of length n representing the number of seats booked on each fight in the order of the label. Okay. Um, so there could be 20,000 bookings. Uh, each number could be 20,000. And this, and the uh, K, what's K? Uh, number of seats could be up to 10,000. Uh, okay. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Let me think about this for a second. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it, it, you could use the thing with. Um, so I mean, I think the the naive uh, thing would be just to kind of simulation, um, which uh, for each for n airlines, uh, if you have given n queries. Uh, uh, for n airlines, given m queries or q queries, uh, it's going to run the n, in n times q times first case uh, because you could just you know do one to twenty or one to n for some n right uh, q times so that would be n times q which for twenty thousand times twenty thousand is not going to be good enough right uh, so um, I think you can actually uh, but what what this is is just um, even though it's very weird, I, I don't know how you why you would uh like you don't in real life you don't label like you don't book fights like this way, right? but it's so. But the problem that that's why it, it took me an extra second, I think. But uh, but yeah, uh, the uh, the problem that this actually most relates to is kind of the uh, um. I don't know what it's called, but there are a couple of versions. But but the idea is like like sometimes the scheduling overlaps and so forth. But the idea here for me. To jump into this problem, it's just like okay, there are x amount of event points, and then uh, so you sort all the um, all the queries, and then just execute them in order from the beginning to end, and then and so forth. Um, oh hey, for, for destroyer. Sorry, I'm just reading your thing. This was a weird problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think sometimes uh, I, I, my I actually have a rant about this, which I don't. To from time to time, where like uh, they try to be cute with something that's like, um, like they try to be like, oh, this is like how it, this models real life, and in real life, no one books fights like this, right? Uh, like, and and that that kind of disconnect makes things like really confusing. And if you got this precise one on an interview, then it's really tricky, right? But I've I've heard like variations of this asked, like, hey, given um, like I think th there was like a uh, one call um, like even on lead call, I think it's just call like carpooling or carpool or something like that because uh, I think I made a joke about Uber pool uh, but where like you know um, 10 people got on uh, at at event I uh, event one in this case and and 10 people left at event two uh, which is I mean at least you can understand it and as a real life thing right so like it's easy like you could have a better mental model here it's like a little like forced uh, like the fights and the bookings have no real meaning right like it's just like okay the, like here's some intervals here's some things calculate the overlap and the sum on the overlaps and so forth right which is fine but uh but it just takes a little bit uh, uh longer to, to read uh but yeah right, i'm gonna jump right in given that it's a so my idea is that it's a scan line and the event thing which uh i've done a little bit and and it, yeah it's cool i think it's called a scan line algorithm or line scan algorithm i always forget which what people are calling it these days but uh but yeah Five. Okay. Uh, that's not a big deal. Okay. Um, so for booking in bookings, we want to Can I do something like this? I'm I'm le I'm learning. Uh, just X again or seats. Uh, I'm learning Python, so <laughs> so bear with me sometimes. I mean, algorithm I get, but uh, but yeah, okay. 
So this just correctly parses it out, right? Because I've been also trying to be like more kind of slicker with my, my Python, if you will. Um, because here I could, you know, usually could have done this as you go to bookings and then parse it out, like put it into variables. But I'm trying to be like, speed it up a little bit. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So which I think this is okay. So events dot. So we create two events, right? One is at the at the start we do seats, and then the other one is uh, at the end uh, do negative seats. Okay, right? Which seems fair. Uh, is this inclusive? Uh, okay, so it's inclusive. Let's do n plus one so that we can make it not. Uh, we leave it open on the end. Uh, so now we sort it. Uh, mm, so yeah, I mean, I think that should be okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I need any. Uh, so my consideration here was just putting it in a key or something. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm, I got very excited for you. Sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, congrats on, on getting an offer. Um, yeah. Avatar is a great company, just you know, so have fun and enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I heard they like I can stock buying probably they couldn't pass. Uh I don't know the stock buying oh you mean Amazon maybe? Okay, yeah, I don't know. But let me, all right, I'm gonna finish this farm and then I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> but uh, but congrats though. Definitely uh celebrated. Uh don't know if you're already in that in one of the cities. If not, you know, enjoy moving to I mean I think I don't know where Amazon is anymore. I know they're in New York, which is where I am at, but you know, they, they have a lot of offices around the world, so, uh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so now for you friend and your friends, um, okay, so now we want the results, uh, so let's say, okay. I actually just do some kind of like weird um what should we call it? Um what do you call it? Uh, uh, uh prefix sum uh actually. So I can actually do something like result dot event um the first element um maybe that is actually not that bad in a way. Um and then that's it. So now this is not yet done, but I'm gonna print it just to kind of uh, validate my hypothesis a bit. There's no extra testing. But, uh, hmm. Oh, really? Uh, I J oh, it's one to n, so okay. It's just, okay. And I know that plus one minus one could cancel out, but I do want to be leave it here for clarity, uh, for one indexed. Uh, hmm. Really? Did I do it off by one as well? Hmm. That's weird. Five five should have. It just goes to four, right? Hmm. Right. What is n? Did I just read what n means? Hmm. Oh wait, this is still... Oh, because this is... Okay, so I guess that's an edge case for... Because it drops off after the end of the array. Uh, which is fine actually, okay, I'll just check that out. Um, okay, that makes sense actually, because I, I, do, I do a non-inclusive. Uh, okay, so I mean this looks right, right, uh, in that I, I don't do the, uh, uh, the prefix something. Uh, but now we just need one more pass to do the prefix sum. 
Um, hmm. Well, um, I guess you start with one. Uh, so it's uh, yes, you do. I plus minus one. There we go. Uh, I mean, I think good practice. You should do the end equals twenty thousand case. But here, I'm not gonna <laughs> generate the case for twenty thousand. And also, I'm just relatively confident about it. Uh, and actually, now that I think about it, obviously, um, I mean, I, th I think th uh, you could actually. Mm, it, it depends on, on kind of the output uh, uh, that they want. I think in theory, like. Um, in theory, you don't actually even end up needing this uh, and the sorting. You could just actually you could skip the sorting and actually it'll be much faster. How old am I running time? So I was a little bit slower. Uh, so you could save the sort on twenty thousand elements, which I guess is not that much, but not that not insignificant either. Um, uh, but then, because then you could just do the pre um, uh, uh, pre -cal uh, uh, prefix sum uh, after setting this directly, because here you can the order doesn't even matter actually uh though um yeah uh so i did this a little suboptimally just because uh usually what they want you to do is um yeah usually what they want you to do is kind of have a compressed version of this result instead of uh this and you only have to print out like uh, uh um at certain different points uh but yeah i think that's okay i mean i'm <laughs> it's still past submission, but I guess we could have optimized if needed. Uh, I think this is a. I think there is something to be said about kind of uh, making sure whatever you're doing makes sense given the uh, output, uh, which I did not do here, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, these kind of, uh, what's it called, scanline algorithms uh, will come up a lot. Uh, well, I've been seeing them a lot, to be honest. Or, they, And I think one thing is that there are also other ways to kind of do these type of problems. Uh, but once you have, and it's something that I use more often than I've seen other people use with scanning line, scan lines. Uh, so it it makes things uh, just generally a little bit uh, easier to understand uh, because because it, it forces to ask just like at every decision point or every event point. And these this is like pretty much like I, you know, muscle memory at this point, right? So, uh, but yeah, definitely. I mean. <laughs> Philip Destroyer mentioned that he, you know, he's got this problem. So uh, on an interview, so I guess definitely uh, be prepared to do this problem. Uh, but I would say definitely uh, the the wording, the phrasing is really awkward. Um, it's not something that I would. Ex I, I don't know. I mean, people ask awkward questions, I suppose. But uh, uh, but I think the the one that I would um, like, I, I think maybe lead code search for. Oh, maybe I'll even do it here, real quick. Um, I think it's called pool or some call point. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so. This is the the, the variation that uh, I've done recently ish. Um, though here, and it's only a thousand, but uh, but as you can see, it also worked for 20,000 or or yeah, 20,000. I think the end was 20,000. Uh, but yeah, but I did the same thing here though in C, uh, same ish kind of template. Um, but yeah, but I mean, for car pulling, I think the uh, the mental modeling is much clearer. Where for the other problem, it was, uh, you know, it, it's kind of weird. Like no one books fights like, like this, right? Like you don't have like a number of fights and you just book a list of them like this. There's no like ordering in the fights that you're booking. Uh, but that said, the <laughs> the algorithm needed to solve this problem is definitely something I recommend. Uh, I did it in O of n log n actually. Uh, uh, yeah, n log n. What is n? Oh, n is less than two. That well, so there are two n's in this problem, which is kind of a weird. But I use n as in the number of bookings, where there's also um, or number of events, if you want to call them that, where there's also the input n, which is the size of the output away. Uh, and for me, it's the num. Let's say q is the number of bookings. Then my algorithm runs in q log q times uh, plus n uh, because. It's always going to run in O of n no matter what. Um, but you could have actually done it without the Q log Q time. So that's what I would think about it. Uh, cool. Um, 
in terms of space, I don't. I mean, I use actually O of n, extra, or O of q, extra space in my current uh, terminology. Uh, um, but yeah, overall, like I said, like definitely, people have asked variations of this on a problem, so definitely be uh, familiar enough to do this. <laughs> All right.